Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this code uh, AB is uh, 6 uh, units. The line segment uh, BC is 9 and this uh, line segment uh, CD is 12 units. And moreover, these angles are 90 degrees each. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, given uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Before we do anything else, uh, we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Let me go ahead and label this uh, radius as uh, lowercase uh, r. And now we are going to find the value of uh, r. And here's our next step. I have drawn uh, this uh, perpendicular that passes through this uh, center O. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. And in our case, uh, AB is the chord and this is our uh, radius. So therefore, as a result, uh, this uh, line segment AE is going to be equal to EB. So therefore, uh, this length uh, 6 uh, has been divided into two parts. So this side length is 3 and this side length is uh, 3 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, EBCF. If this uh, side length uh, EB is uh, 3 units, then this uh, side length uh, FC is going to be 3 units as well. And now we can see that this uh, whole uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 12 uh, units. This segment is uh, 3 units. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, FD is going to be 12 minus 3 is going to give us uh, 9 uh, units. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this center O with these uh, points uh, A and uh, D. As you can see in this uh, diagram and we can see that this uh, OD is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. So let me go ahead and label this uh, radius as lowercase r. Likewise this uh, OA is the radius uh, of this circle as well. Let me go ahead and call this uh, lowercase r as well. And now we can see as a result we got uh, these uh, two right triangles. The first right triangle is uh, AEO and the second uh, right triangle is uh, D, F, O. Now let's go ahead and make an observation. Let me go ahead and uh, call uh, this uh, side length uh, O, F uh, as uh, lowercase uh, x. And we know that this uh, whole uh, length uh, is uh, 9 units. So therefore, uh, this length uh, E, O is going to be 9 uh, minus uh, x. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, AEO, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 3, 9 minus x, uh, and uh, r. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean uh, theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, our longest leg is uh, r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean uh, formula. A, in our case, I'm going to write down uh, 9 minus x uh, whole uh, square. B, I'm going to call uh, 3 square equal to r radius is our side C. So I'm going to call uh, r square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity. A minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial. So therefore, this is going to become uh, 81 minus uh, 18x plus uh, x square. And then this 3 square is going to be 9 equal to r square. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms. I can write uh, x square minus uh, 18x plus uh, 90 equal to r square. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, equation uh, as equation uh, number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, another right triangle uh, DFO. 
whose side lengths are 9, x, and r. So let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. In our case, our longest leg is going to be r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case x, so it's going to become uh, x squared plus uh, b is uh, 9 whole square and c in our case is r whole uh, square. So let's go ahead and simplify. So x squared plus uh, 81 equal to r square. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and compare uh, equations 1 and 2. And we can see our right hand sides are identical. So therefore we can equate uh, the left hand sides uh, as well. So therefore I can write uh, x uh, square plus uh, 81 equal to x uh, square minus uh, 18 x plus uh, 90 and now we can see x square and x square they are uh, gone so therefore we are ended up with uh, 81 equal to negative 18 x plus uh, 90 now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 90 from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, we got uh, negative 18 x equal to negative uh, 9 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 18. This and this is gone. So therefore x turns out to be equal to 1 divided by 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute this x equal to 1 over 2 value in this uh, equation 2 to solve for radius r. And here's our equation 2. I'm going to replace this uh, x by 1 over 2. So therefore we are going to get uh, 1 divided by 2 whole square plus 81 equal to r square and that is going to become 1 divided by 4 plus 81 equals to r square and now let's focus on this left hand side 1 divided by 4 plus 81 I have copied it down over here and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us 325 divided by 4 so therefore uh, r square turns out to be 325 divided by 4 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of the circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square and in our case our r square is 325 divided by 4 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of uh, this uh, circle is going to be pi times uh, 325 divided by 4 or we can write this area as uh, 325 pi all over 4 square units so thus the area of this uh, circle turns out to be a 325 pi divided by 4 square units and in terms of decimals that is approximately equal to 255.3 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye